Hello viewers, welcome to Math Tech. I am Amit Sharma. In this video, we are going to solve a question of linear algebra from CSIR Net June 2021. The question is from the topic determinant. So without a delay, let's start. Question is, it is known that x equal to x0 belongs to m to z is a solution of ax minus xa equal to a for some a belongs to a set containing matrices having element 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1 minus 1, 1, 1, minus 1, and 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1. Which of the following values are not possible for the determinant of x0? Option 1, determinant of x0 is 0. Option 2, determinant of x0 is 2. Option 3, determinant of x0 is 6. Option 4, determinant of x0 is 10. Now, it is given that x is the solution of the equation ax minus xa is equal to a. This implies we have ax0 minus x not a is equal to a. Now applying trace on both sides, we get trace of a x not minus x not a is equal to trace of a. Now applying the property of trace, we know that trace of a minus b is equal to trace of a minus trace of b. This implies we get trace of a x not minus trace of x not into a. This is equal to trace of a. Now we also know that the trace of a b is trace of b a. This implies we get trace of a x naught minus this can be written as trace of a into x naught this is equal to trace of a now this is cancelled with this this implies we get trace of a is 0 means from this set we have to choose those matrix whose trace is 0 in the first matrix the trace is 0 but in the second and third matrix trace is not 0 this implies we have to take this matrix as a a matrix now let us take x0 is equal to a matrix having element a, b, c, d where a, b, c, d belongs to integer and a is the matrix which has the trace 0, 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1. Substituting the value of a and x0 in the equation, we have 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1 into the matrix x0 having element a, b, c, d minus matrix having element a b c d into the matrix a 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 this is equal to the matrix a having element 1 1 minus 1 and minus 1 now multiply these two matrix we have the element a plus c and b plus d and minus a minus c and minus b minus d and multiply these two matrix we have the element a minus b a minus b c minus d c minus d this is equal to the matrix a having element 1 1 minus 1 and minus 1 now subtract these two matrix we have the matrix having element a plus c minus a plus b b plus d minus a plus b and minus a minus c minus c plus d and minus b minus d minus c plus d this matrix is equal to the matrix a having element 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 now this a is cancelled with this a and this d is cancelled with this d. This implies the matrix having element b plus c minus a plus 2b plus d minus a minus 2c plus d and minus b minus c. This is equal to a matrix a having element 1 1 minus 1 minus 1. Now we know that the two matrix are said to be equal if their order are same and corresponding element are same. This implies we have the value of b plus c is equal to 1, the value of minus a plus 2b plus d is equal to 1 and minus a minus 2c plus d is also equal to minus 1 and minus b minus c is equal to minus 1. The first and the fourth equation are the same equation. Now we get a system of linear equation of the form b q is equal to r where b is the coefficient matrix having elements 0, 1, 1, 0, minus 1, 2, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, minus 2, and 1. And Q is the column matrix having element A, B, C, and D. And R is the matrix having element 1, 1, and minus 1. Now, we have to construct the argument matrix B, R, which is having element 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, minus 1, 
टू जीरो वन एंड वन माइनस वन जीरो माइनस टू वन एंड माइनस वन नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू फाइंड द रैंक ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स फॉर दिस वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस मैट्रिक्स इनटू रो इक्लॉन फॉर्म फॉर दिस वी हैव टू यूज द ऑपरेशन आर वन इंटरचेंज विद आर टू वी गेट अ मैट्रिक्स हैविंग एलिमेंट माइनस वन टू जीरो वन वन जीरो वन वन जीरो वन एंड माइनस वन जीरो माइनस टू वन एंड माइनस वन नाउ अप्लाई दी ऑपरेशन ऑन आर थ्री विच इज आर थ्री इम्प्लाइज आर थ्री माइनस आर वन वी गेट अक्विलेंट मैट्रिक्स हैविंग एलिमेंट माइनस वन टू जीरो वन एंड वन जीरो वन वन जीरो वन एंड जीरो माइनस टू माइनस टू जीरो एंड माइनस टू नाउ अगेन अप्लाई दी ऑपरेशन ऑन आर थ्री आर थ्री एम्प्लाइज आर थ्री प्लस टू टाइम्स आर टू वी गेट अ मैट्रिक्स माइनस वन टू जीरो वन वन जीरो वन वन जीरो वन एंड द आर थ्री इज द जीरो मैट्रिक्स दिस एम्प्लाइज द रैंक ऑफ आर्ग्यूमेंट मैट्रिक्स बी ओवर आर इज टू वी हैव ओनली टू प्राइवेट पोजिशन एंड द वेरिएबल सी एंड डी आर द फ्री वेरिएबल नाउ द इक्वेशन इज माइनस ए प्लस टू बी प्लस डी इज इक्वल टू वन एंड बी प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू वन दिस एम्प्लाई द वैल्यू ऑफ बी इज वन माइनस सी सब्सिट्यूटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ बी इन फर्स्ट इक्वेशन वी गेट माइनस ए प्लस टू इन टू वन माइनस सी प्लस डी इज इक्वल टू वन दिस एम्प्लाई माइनस ए इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस टू प्लस टू सी माइनस डी दिस एम्प्लाई माइनस ए इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन प्लस टू सी माइनस डी This implies the value of a is one minus two c plus d. Now substituting the value of a, b, c, d in the matrix x naught. This implies x naught is one minus two c plus d, and the value of b is one minus c, and c and d are the free variable. Now the determinant of x naught is equal to one minus two c plus d into d minus c into one minus c. Which is equal to d minus 2c d plus d square minus c plus c square, which is further written as c square plus d square minus 2c d, and take minus common from these two, we get c minus d. Now this is the formula of c minus d whole square minus c minus d, which is equal to t square minus t, where t is c minus d, which is belongs to z. Now the first option says that. The determinant of x not is zero. Let us take whether the determinant of x not is zero is possible or not. If determinant of x not is zero, this implies the value of t square minus t is equal to zero. This implies t is either zero or t is equal to one. Both are belongs to integer. This implies determinant of x not can be zero, but we have to find those value which is not possible for the determinant of x not. Now let us take the second option. In the second option, it says that determinant of x not is two. If determinant of x not is two, this implies the value of t square minus t is equal to two. This implies t square minus t minus two is equal to zero. This implies t minus two into t plus one is equal to zero. This implies the value of t is two or value of t is minus one. Again, both r belongs to the z. This implies determinant of x not can be two. Now, in the third option, determinant of x not is equal to six. If determinant of x not is six, this implies t square minus t is equal to six. This implies t square minus t minus six is equal to zero. This implies t minus three into t plus two is equal to zero. This implies the value of t is either three or value of t. Is Minus two again. Both the value are belongs to Z. This implies the determinant of X not can be six. And the last option says determinant of X not is equal to ten. This implies t square minus t is equal to ten, which is further written as t square minus t minus ten is equal to zero. Now, if we solve this, we get the value of t is one plus minus square root of fourteen divided by two, which does not belongs to Z. This implies determinant of x not cannot be ten. In this question, we have to find that which of the value is not possible for the determinant of x not. Hence, the determinant of x not cannot be ten. Therefore, option four is true and option one, two, and three are false. 
Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like the content, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. If you have any query, comment me. Thank you very much.